Being prideful means that you lift yourself up. It means that you're haughty. It means that you're conceited. All of those words describe a prideful person. I'm going to give you a term, and I want you guys to remember this. I learned this when I was in college. We were always taught to be team firsters. Now, you might wonder, what does that mean? That means that at all times, you put the team above yourself. Luke 14, 11 says, those who exalt themselves, and all exalting is, is lifting yourself up. It says you'll be humbled, which means to be brought low. But those who start in a low position, those who don't lift themselves, are the ones that get exalted or the ones that are lifted in the end. You have to be willing to do your job or do what's being asked of you in consideration of the people around you. Because what you do can help someone else be successful. Some of the greatest players, a lot of times, you don't ever get to see their name in lights, and it's because they're doing the dirty work. They may take on a block and open it up so someone else can make all the plays, but guess what? That's a part of the team game. That's what it takes. The helium is actually the pride being built up. And so what happens is, is as pride begins to build, you begin to be lifted up. And a lot of times, people are the ones that put the helium in you. They're the ones that cause you to be prideful. Because a lot of times what happens is, success can be one of our greatest enemies. And you guys might wonder, what do I mean by that? Sometimes su being successful can be very dangerous. And the reason is, is because a lot of people don't know how to handle success. Pride is almost like that, that enemy or that monster that you can't even really detect. You see, everyone else can see when you're struggling with pride, but a lot of times you don't know that you're struggling with pride. Because all you see is your own world. You don't even see everyone else around you. You start to lose consideration of everyone else and it becomes all about you. And pride can truly, truly pollute you and it can take you in a direction that you don't want to go. At some point, pride will destroy you. And so as that balloon continues to rise because it's getting filled up with more and more helium, one of two things will happen. Other people will pop that balloon and then you get dropped back down or You'll get so full of pride, and what happens when you fill up a balloon too much? It pops. it pops. Exactly. The best way to look at it is like this. You don't want to ever get too high on yourself, and you don't want to ever get too low on yourself. God tells us to be humble at all times. This is Vernon Fox, and I'll see you at the next Victory by Faith football camp.